Clarence, sales guy at Mad Duck Cyclery. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what everybody comes in and says, you know what, my bike's not shifting right, how do I adjust that dang derailleur? How do we set them up? The most common thing is, is it won't shift. So they bring it in, I put it in the rack, I'm going to adjust the rear derailleur so it'll shift properly. Now is, is this something they can do themselves or is this something that they have to bring to you every time? No, they can do it themselves. Uh, minor adjustments are easy to do on the trail. Just uh, turn a barrel and let it rip. Gary's exactly right. You don't need a full shop to do this. You just need to know what you're doing. Okay, here's the complaint. He's pedaling, he shifts. And it won't go up there right. It's jumping, it won't go down, it won't go up correctly. So, what's happening is it's not crisp. So what you need to do is make a barrel adjustment up here in the front to increase tension on the cable going to the back. So the way you do it is you turn the barrel away from you a couple of clicks and then you come back to the back and spin it and see if it took care of the problem. All right, Gary, well, wait a minute now. I, we've got all this cool stuff back here. I bought these screwdrivers. I want to I wanna jack around and turn some stuff here. Why, why wouldn't I? Well, I don't advise it unless you know what a high-low stop is or a, a B-tension screw. If you start turning screws back here nilly-willy, what's going to happen is you're going to run the chain possibly into your spokes and tear up a bunch of spokes. You're going to run the chain out here into a carbon frame and tear up the frame. Oh man, that wouldn't be good. Um, I just wouldn't do it. Those are high and low stops. Uh, high and low limits should be adjusted by somebody that knows what they are and what they're for. Uh, cable barrel adjustment you can do on the trail or on the fly. Can we go up here? Because I see people out the time, they grab it and they turn it like 10, 12 clicks. What, or, is it, or do we just do one little click at a time? I would do two or three at a time and then see if that corrects the problem. If it doesn't, Go the other direction, two or three. Now, which which direction? If we go clockwise, what does that do to the cable? It makes it tighter. Makes it tighter if I if I go clockwise. So if, if I want more slack, I go counterclockwise. Right. Man, I think even the sales guy can figure that one out. <laughs> what about this new hickey? What's this? You know, sales guys, we see a switch, we're going to throw it. What is what does that do? That's a clutch. Uh, this derailleur has a clutch in it to keep chain bounce out of it. So. That's something you can adjust. If you want to turn the clutch on and off, I have it off to make adjustments on the derailleur. When it's right. on the trail, it should be on. What? Yeah, why wouldn't, you, why wouldn't you just leave it on all the time? Because it's easier to adjust the derailleur with it off. Oh, but, but now when I'm riding, we're... You leave it on when you're riding. All right. So this is something else you tell me I don't touch. Can Correct. you have a screwdriver? <laughs> don't touch a switch. <laughs> can, can I ride the bike? Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, Gary, thanks a lot. Hey, we need to get back to work. You get this bike out the door, and I'll go sell some more. Let's go get it. All right. All right, this is Clarence at Mad Duck Sports. If you need tech advice, call Gary, 817-442-0339. He's back here twisting and tweaking. Need anything else, you can call me up front. Same number, 817-442-0339. Check out our website, madducksports.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that other stuff. Check it out. Come see us. Thanks, guys. Thanks.